As part of the Heritage Art Festival um, this, this, this season, we are also highlighting some um, artists, you know, and uh, we have a visual artist in studio, as we promised earlier. John Hyde is here with us. Let's have a conversation with him and find out a little bit about his story. Good morning, John. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Fantastic. So how did the whole arts thing begin for you? Um, as I was growing up, um, I'll just say um, one or two things about my childhood. Yes. I wanted to be um, electrician, you know, engineer, you know, all this electrical stuff. What was it that excited you about and becoming an electri electrician or, ele or an engineer? Anytime I see gadgets, like, yeah. you know, the TV, okay. the remote control. Yeah, it you fascinated know, the, you. Yes, okay. I wonder what was in there, mm. you know, until I diverted to something else that I saw that I, I was creative more than... Because I remember in uh, 1988, okay. 87, 88, I designed a cackle, you know, a cackle, and I, we had a Christmas tree in the house, and okay. I, I took one light out of it with a cable, and I fixed it through the cackle. Mm. I made a gun out of it, and I put two batteries, <laughs> you know, I connected it, and it was working. Okay. And my mom told me, hey, you know, maybe one day you bend the house. And I said, oh, you know, this is just a toy. <laughs> and later, it became something fast. How old were you at that time? Um, 88, I was um, 14. Okay. Okay. So, so mid teens, yeah. parents are worried that you're, you're getting too adventurous yes. Yes. and all of that. Yeah. So, okay. um, it wasn't easy with electronic stuff. So, anytime I do something like that, you know, they just tell me no. And I had these shorts that, um, that something that made me come into the arts. I had these shorts that had no pockets okay. around it. And my mom's um, had some piece of cloth. That used to wipe things, clean the house. Yeah. And I took the piece of cloth and I cut the pocket out of it and I sewed it with my bare hands, you know, to put everything together. And she saw it and said, ah, isn't that my cloth you use for pockets? I said, yeah, you know. And she's like, hey, okay. And so <laughs> that's where my art started. Okay, started that's what, that was the introduction yeah, that was to it. 1990. I see. Yes. I see. And um, so, so fast forward um, to 2020. What would you say are some of the highlights of your experiences along the way that have defined who you are today as an artist? Um, I'm a versatile artist. Okay. You know, and versatile artist is not limited to one subject or one element. I've gone through various years of experimenting so much. Mm. When I finished school, I started with candles. Okay. I used to um, make candles. And one of my best customers was Michelle Atto. Okay. The famous actress. Yeah. Yes, around that time. And then um, from there, I went to paper making, recycled paper making. And then I went to paper bag making. I see. So you've I've, spread yourself yes. quite a bit. Yes. And book binding and carving. I experienced everything art. Wow. And so fashion, everything art, I, I, I experienced it. So. Okay. What, what, what is it, what do you think it is that has piqued your curiosity so that you want to try stuff? It's just the way you are. Anytime I see um, an object in public or in the open space, mm. I have a feeling I could, I could do better. I see. You know, so I, I experiment. And actually, one thing that I don't have is a teacher, someone who teach me what to do, like um, apprenticeship. Mm. You know, you go for three years. I remember I wanted to do shoes, but I went to see somebody who I want to do shoes. He told me three years. I said, an artist don't need three years to learn. <laughs> I need just like six months. <laughs> You know, too. And he said, No, you can't use six months. So I ignored him. Yeah. I made my own shoes in the house. You know, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. Oh, I see. I made so much things. Okay. You know, with all this. Did you ever take the shoe, any of your shoes back to him to show him what you had done? No, I didn't want to tease him. <laughs> I didn't want to. Because it took me just two days to do the shoes. Oh, wow. And I know it wasn't professional, but yeah. I did my best. But you did. Yes. Yeah. yeah so. I see. So what do we have here? What are we looking at? This is, uh, let me start with this one. Yes. This is a miniature draw oh. I, I designed from ebony and my grandmother's cloth that I inherited from her. Okay. You know, so it's a miniature draw oh, I that see. you can see. You know, I designed from ebony wood. You can have a feel. All right. So, wood. you know, on the show this morning, we are doing, um, as part of our celebration, uh, you know, we're having drinks, food, and all that. So, we're going to have um, uh, Aso from the 
you know, the other side to bring us some drinks. Okay. Okay. So, okay. you enjoy some? Yes. All right. Okay, good. So, this is very interesting. Yeah. This is a... Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. How would you come... What, what made you think about something like this? <laughs> um... I like it. A friend of mine is a carver. Yeah, and he, okay. did, he works with um, Thank you. Ebony Thank Wood. You. Mostly Ebony Wood. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ebony, mm. the black wood. That's okay. this one. Yes. And I work with him in my house. And I asked him, can I get some of the wood? Mm. So oh, yeah. He asked me, what are you going to use it for? You're not a carver. Yeah. So when I, when I finish <laughs> with it, you know. <laughs> so he gave me a piece yeah. of his. And I experimented with this one. Mm. And he was like, you know, my friends call me Onapu about 10 years ago. Okay. Oh, because I see. Anytime I do something, they, yeah, they go like... They're surprised. Charlie, this one, Onapu, like, it's yeah. a ground word. You yeah, won't yeah, get, you, you know. Yeah, exactly. And they've been calling me that. So I registered my company in the name of Onapu Collections. Okay. Because anything you see is unique. Mm. You know, let me talk about this book. This is the Trinity I, I experimented on as well. It's a Trinity. It's a, a book... Okay. In three in three types, you know, so it wow. can use. And I've researched on the net to see if there's something similar to this one, and there's nothing similar to this. This is amazing. You know, so I like experimenting. But I with. think, you see, something as unique as this, you should patent it. Yeah. Because this is wood. Yeah, it is. Wow. Wow. I, I don't know what to say. This is incredible. This is wood. Yeah. And you've used fabric. Fabric, yes. And it's, you call it the Trinity. The Trinity. Wow. Hmm. And I've had it for eight years. Are I, you serious? I made it eight years ago, yes. This was done eight years ago? Yes. Oh, okay. You know, um, no, nah, I don't even know how to react. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I have so much that um, sometimes when I see it myself, I don't believe I made it. You know, when I go to my studio, wow. I see so many things. I don't believe Onapo made it. You know, so my first I, I think, I mean, okay, so do you have patents for any of these things? Because I um, think you should. I'm, I'm doing a collection mm. because it's Onapo collection. So yeah. I'm doing collections of all I'm doing. The one yeah. day I'll expect all of them. You know, mm. Friends come to say, I want to buy it. I say, no. You know, one day I'll expect yeah. for the public to know what um, wow. I'm capable of doing. Wow. You know, so this... So, uh, a miniature artwork okay. as well. That um, when you go to the cathedrals and the churches, mm. you see um, the sculpture pieces behind the, the preacher or the pastor. Yes. With these gold, you know, monuments and all the elements around carvings and mm. yes, and those are the those you see there. That's the silver. That's okay. the, the gold leaves. Every, every object you see in the church room, like the, the angels and you see yes. them in gold, they are yeah. not gold. They are okay. sculptures okay. with gold leaves, you know, attached to them. Ah. Yes. So those are the gold leaves and the silver leaves they use to do all those decorations, okay. the finishing touches. So I'm using them for an artwork wow. as well. A this, miniature artwork. This is incredible. Yes. So something like this. What's the final presentation form? What's the objective of doing something like this? Yes, um, preparing them to frame them. Okay. But actually, it's, it's not everybody who likes um, framed artwork. So some will go framed and some will go not framed. Mm. I'll sell them like that. But I'm preparing them, I'm preparing like 100 pieces to okay. exhibit them wow. at a go. And they are not repeated, they are all different. And all hand painted. Yeah, well. because it's interesting. So even though they look alike, they're actually quite different. Yes. In the sense that, okay, so this one, for example, we can see the mouth, the lips yeah. here, but there's, not, there's none here. Yes. Okay, so let me do something here. Let's take a look at it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this one has a different yes. hairstyle. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is very interesting. So, okay, so this, these two here, you can see them. The lips on both, yeah. but this the hairstyle is different from this one. Yeah, and the jewelry. And the beads. Yeah, the jewelry set. The jewelry is also different. Different, yes. So you're right. They yeah. don't repeat themselves. They don't repeat themselves. All of them. Fascinating. And when I'm painting, I don't look at the next one. I just paint. I put them away and paint new. I put them away and paint new. Are you serious? Yes. 
But how do you know that you have not repeated <laughs> yourself? You know, that's, that's, as an artist, you, sh you shouldn't be... Actually, what, what we were taught in school is... Completely befuddled. I when can't you are, believe what I'm seeing. Yeah, when you are a painter, you need to be painting. Mm. You shouldn't think far. Like, you shouldn't think ahead of you. Yeah. But for me, when I was in school, I have an artwork in the art center right now. We are doing an exhibition at the art center. Mm -hmm. Independence Day, 19, since 1957, and it's still running. I took an artwork there that I made in 1998. Yeah, 98. 1998. 1998. You took an art, yeah. art piece there, and it's yeah. still, it's still yeah. on exhibition. It. Yes. And that's the first time I brought it to the public. And mm. it's titled, We Agree to Disagree. You know, and see. people see it and look like, wow, how do you come with all this? I see, I think deep hmm. when I'm working. Clearly. You know, I don't Clearly just... Clearly you do. Yeah. So. What have you not yet done? I think um, that the, you're thinking about the moon. The moon. Yeah. What I, about the moon? I want to reach the moon, and I want to reach a height that um, people will wonder how come I got there. You know, without <laughs> flying, I want to get just get there. <laughs> I've been dreaming of, of that for a very long time. That's something I want to get into. Wow. Yeah. No, this is beautiful. I. I think of artists, and I think that. Probably in Ghana, and maybe, I mean, I'm guilty of this, but um, we have a certain limited view when we talk about artists, yes. you know, of what it is that they do or can do, yeah. you know. But looking at, looking at the array of things that you have done over the years, you know, um, this is just beautiful. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's talk about business. Let's talk about how... You, you know how lucrative it is, you know, commercially. What, how is that for you? Um, I've gone through a trend of a lot of things that I've done, like I said, from the candle making to, mm. and mostly what happens, the economy changes the yeah. way art is dealt in this country. Okay. Um, art is like it's like a seasonal thing, you know, like the year of return. Mm. You know, there's some program happening somewhere, the exhibitions and all those things. Um, I used to be a t-shirt designer. You know, okay. Yeah, I used to, I don't use screen print. I paint directly. Onto the t-shirts. Yes. And it was like, <laughs> so 2008 was a year for me. I made a lot of, you know, money okay. from direct painting because you, you I, can't, I don't repeat the designs. Mm. So anybody wears it, it's unique. And then it went through, it wasn't easy. But for now, things are working mm. a little bit. You know, mm. on a what do you think it is that, um, in terms of the society at large, are we becoming more, um, more understanding of the arts culture and therefore patronizing more, or how do you how do you see what's going on in Ghana? Um, in Ghana, because it's fair. Sorry, not, not to cut you, but it's it's fine for us to have the seasons and the cycles. Yes. I'm more interested in to, in seeing an upward trend that remains upward and maybe even plateaus, but does not come down. Yeah, that's more of what I'm thinking about. Yes. What do you think? Um, le let me give thanks to most of the hotels first in Ghana because they help the artists, mm. you know, produce By exhibiting, produce their works, and okay. help them exhibit their works too. Um, the actual thing is. We don't, Ghanaians actually are, is the truth. They don't value art that mm. much. Mm. So um, I'm the chairman for an association in Greater Accra called GAVA, Ghana um, Visual Arts Association. Okay. Yeah. You know, and then we are trying to raise awareness mm. of, of the arts mm. and go to uh, tertiary institutions and all the universities and things and you talk about art. Yeah. You know, so we are educating ourselves first you know, as an artist before yeah. we are going to, go to the public. And we've done that. Uh, a couple of times, mm. we celebrated a couple of, and right now we have an artwork to create an awareness that there's, you can put art in every place. Yeah. When you go to the AMA new yes. office right now, the reception we created, well, at day that was two, three years ago. Okay. We created an artwork and we donated it there, mm. and it's the first of its kind. It's called a sasa. Okay. Yes, we named the sasa, yeah. and it's hanging at the reception. So we are trying to create awareness, and we did currently did one work at the Aquaje Interchange. Yes, it's a mural there, beautiful, that. just to yeah. show people that they are visual artists that can do massively mm. to help the economy of the country. Yeah. 
in Lagos. Of course, we are running the Heritage Art Festival as yes. well um, yes. there this weekend. And um, uh, yesterday, there were just some fantastic pieces out there, uh, you know. And just to see so many artists out there, you know, displaying their work yes. and actually doing painting live for yes. people to see, yes. you know. How, how it's all done. So I, I want to applaud you and say this is really fantastic work Thank that you. you've done. And um, we, we celebrate you and, 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 and your, your people like you, you know, who have done so well. And, but I think you need to get these things patented soon, yeah. you know, before somebody steals oh, ideas, yeah, know. you know, and uh, comes to make up yeah. uh, their own versions of yeah. what you've done. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for joining us this morning. Uh, let me add this one. Yes, please. I'm part of the, you know, the um, heritage exhibition, this, exhibition yeah. at the AMA. Okay. So yeah. I'll be from here. I'll be going there to, to express myself. Super. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank We've you. been talking to John Hyde, who is a visual artist, and as you can see, he's a very versatile visual artist. It's been a wonderful um, interview for me. Um, I'm blown away by the things that he's, he's done all these years. Thank you very much for watching this segment of the show. Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.